Hi! In this video, I will show three different ways how to handle pagination in websites with Web Scraper. Here is an example page with product listings and pagination links. The goal would be to navigate these pagination links while also extracting product links. If you look at the URL, you can clearly see that there is a page number in it. To visit all these pages, I could create a sitemap with 20 start URLs, and the scraper would visit all of these pages. To simplify this, I will use only one URL with a range definition in it. I'll start by creating a sitemap. This is the start URL for the first page. And now I'm changing it to include pages from 1 to 20. Now the scraper will visit all of these pages. Now I only need to create a link selector to extract product links from all of these pagination pages. To extract the product information, you would need to add child selectors to this link selector. I'll now run the scraper. As you can see, it is going through pagination pages. And here you can see the scraped links. Another solution for pagination is to use link selector to navigate the pagination pages. This would be useful when you are scraping a site with multiple categories, and you don't want to make a list of category pagination links. I'll start by creating a sitemap. In this case, the start URL will be only the first page. Now I'll create a link selector to extract pagination links. I'm checking multiple checkbox because multiple links will be extracted from a single page. I am also making the pagination selector as child of itself and the start URL. This configuration will make the link selector discover more unique pagination links while going through pagination pages. For example, right now the link selector wouldn't extract links to pages from 9 to 18. Now I have to add the link selector that would extract product links. Here I am also making the product link selector as a child of the start URL, and also of the pagination selector. This will make the scraper extract links from the start URL page, and also from all of the pagination pages. Let's look at the selector graph. Here you can see how the scraper will iterate through pagination pages until it will find all of them. Note that it will visit only unique URLs. I'll now run the scraper. As you can see, it works similarly to the previous solution. You can see the links are being scraped. Now I'll show a third way how to handle pagination. Here is an example page that has pagination links. When clicking these links, the URL isn't changing, and there also isn't a page number in the URL. Also, the page isn't being reloaded while clicking pagination links. In this case, the data is loaded dynamically from the server. I'll create a new sitemap for this page. Now I will create an element click selector to handle the pagination. I'm changing the selectors type to element click. The main selector must select wrapper element of each product. And the click selector must select the buttons that need to be clicked. Click type will be clicked once. Basically, each pagination button needs to be clicked only once. 
unique text for click element uniqueness should be OK. I'm checking multiple option because the selector will find multiple wrapper elements in a single page. I'm also clicking the discard initial elements checkbox because I selected the first button with the click selector. In this case, not checking this checkbox could result in duplicate data. I'll add a 500 millisecond delay. Basically, this delay specifies how long should be the selector wait between two clicks. Usually, you should make the delay a little longer if you don't want to lose data due to slow server responses. OK, the element click selector is complete. Now I have to create a link selector that will extract product page links. I'm opening the pagination selector because the links will be extracted from the wrapper elements that the pagination selector finds. Let's create the link selector. OK, the sitemap is done. Let's scrape this page. You can see how the selector clicks through pagination buttons. And here is the scraped data. Right now, I have showed you three ways how to handle pagination. Unfortunately, there are some sites that have implemented their pagination differently, and Web Scraper cannot navigate them. These sites do post data submits or redirects. That said, we are thinking of ways how this kind of site navigation could be handled by Web Scraper.